Yo, what is up, all you Stone Cold Superfly? Ill Maddie Fish Keep It Funk It Does. You watch the Aqua Funk Quadrants with me, Aqua Funk. And check it out. I bet that most of you guys out there probably think that all angels are created equal. That the only differences between angels is more of the coloration or the patterning, and maybe even in some, case, in some cases, the finish. Uh, in my particular opinion, I'm going to say negatory. I'm going to say, in my particular opinion, not all angels are created equal. I'm going to say that there is one in particular angel that stands out above the rest. Pound for pound, the best angel you can get. Now, in this video, I'm going to be doing um, a breakdown on why I believe what I believe and which angel I think rocks more than the others. Um, and I'm also going to be showing you some new... Um, additions to my angel collection so i think you're gonna really like that if you don't think they're the cutest little things you've ever seen in your life you might be a little dead inside all right so before we get started don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell for all the funky little goodness that comes out when it comes out cobalt blue philippine blue super red super red koi's yellow koi's zebras remember those smoke half black all right, so way back in 1876 is when angels were discovered. And since then, people have been poking and prodding and sticking and mixing and matching and doing all kinds of stuff with angels, getting all kinds of different um, variations over how um, angels look. In fact, to my knowledge, as far as coloration and patterns go, angelfish are probably the most manipulated by man fish on the market today that just goes to um show on how versatile these guys are that they've been able to do all these things you know it's it, it, you could even argue that with all the finage different types of finage and stuff that you know they're right up there along goldfish with um how much people have messed with them but since then there's been a lot of a lot of things good come out of it you have a lot of choices as to the look you want and when you're messing around with genetics, like these guys do from breeding, you know, whether it be colony breeding or line breeding or whatever, you, 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 what you do is you enhance the things that you like. For instance, if you like the blue in this angel and you like the blue in this angel, you get them together and you enhance the blue with their offspring might be a little bit more on and on. And, but one of the byproducts is, is that their, their DNA also holds negative um negative things that are also reinforced for instance if you have this fish that is has some blue in it and it has this one has some blue in it and they happen to be kind of on the weak side as far as um um, um antibodies go their offspring while they might have more blue would have a uh, the opposite effect which would be a uh, more weak in the immune system you get what i'm saying so when you when you when you mixing these fish, and a lot of times you mix the babies with the fathers and the babies with the mothers, so all you're doing is reinforcing traits that were already theirs, and you inadvertently um, reinforce the bad traits. So um, sometimes these fish can be stunted, um, weak immune systems. Um, they just don't handle stress well, and a lot of that is because of the inbreeding that goes on. Now. Let's talk about the opposite effect. How many times have you guys had a conversation with dog people about the best dog they've ever had? And oh, someone always pops up and says, well, the best dog I had was a mutt. He was an old mangy mutt. He was the smartest. He lived a long time, never got silk. Same thing with the fish. Marbles are basically mutts. They're um, a mix of whatever happens. I mean, there's gold marbles and then there's dark marbles. This is this is actually considered a gold marble, which doesn't have actual marbling, but when you breed the, um, the lighter color fish, they kind of look like that. When you breed with darker color fish, they breed with the marble patterns, but this is a marble. It's a gold marble. And, and they seem to have a mix of all the best things about multiple types of fish. In my experience, look, let me let me let me uh let me tell you something. Let me to give you a couple of things that I've I've experienced with marble angelfish. Now, don't get me wrong, I love all angelfish. I've had um wild caught fish, I've had um uh sp specialty novelty angelfish like the veils and the the um green smokes and the 
Philippine Blues or the Lace. I've had all those, and, and they're all great. But these marbles seem to adjust, live just better, adjust better. They seem to live longer, um, have less issues with um, acclimating socially, and all that. So let me let me let me give you for an example, breeding. All right, for some reason, all right, for some reason, um, I have noticed that when I have a tank with mixed angels in it, if I have a marble fish in it. One of my specialty expensive angel females will pick a marble male to mate with. Now, nobody can really tell what these females are looking for in a mate as far as people go. They kind of look at the individual fish and decide which is the best one. What do they know that we don't know that they keep picking marbles? Now, this is my experience, all right? If you have a different experience, please put down in the comments below. But in my experience... If you get, for instance, let's say, uh, uh, electric blue, or cobalt blue angel, whatever you want to call them, you know, you have a tank full of them. You can have five, five cobalt blues and five marbles. The cobalt blue female will pick a marble. What does she know that that marble fish is uh, better suited as a father than her, you know, pizos, the other uh, the cobalt blues? I don't know. It's just something that I've noticed. Growth rate. I've also noticed that marbles grow a heck of a lot faster than some of the more um, specialty angelfish. I've, I've bred multiple types of angelfish at the same time, and my marbles always grow faster. Um, illnesses, like I said, they, get, they, they rarely get sick as much as some of the special ones, and that's because I think they have a more varied immune system. Um, personality, they always got more of a personality. Angelfish do this weird thing. Where when they're stressed out, they stick their nose up against the back of the glass and show you their tail fin like we can't see them. Uh, marble fish, not so much. They don't do that as much. And I don't know. Maybe they're just more socially um, adaptable. Look, hey, you know what? I love these fish so much. I, I really love these fish so much that I've kind of gotten away from the specialty fish. Um, not because... I don't like them because I do and I'm going to get back into getting them. It's just right now I have a very limited space. So I got to pick the best fish that I can for my collection. And, and it has to be more. I mean, for me, it's marbles. You know, I mean, I have koi in there, too. But even the koi, you see that koi right there and you see these um, marbles. They were the same size when I first got them all. Now the marbles are way bigger. At any rate, I got some more marble angelfish. I got some beautiful marble angelfish. I got them actually from Tiffany White. Um, and let me tell you something persistence works I got these fish from her and I'm the first person that I know of that she's mailed them to and uh, I at one point she said it's because I bugged her <laughs> that's because yeah, I'm gonna show you some images of these fish that I got from her and the parents of these marble fish um, they're beautiful beautiful fish I can't wait to get them bigger um, I'm gonna bring you guys along you can see how they progress and and just check these out and, and check out Tiffany White on Get Gills where you can get these guys. Um, she mailed them to me at three different um, intervals because it's her, it was her first time mailing fish. And she wanted to make sure she got it right. She wanted to make sure that if she did make a mistake, she wouldn't lose a whole bunch at one time. Um, so she mailed in small increments. Um, I was going to do an unboxing. But to be honest with you, the unboxing was... Well, I, basically the unboxing was a stinker. So this is what I'm going with. I, I think I think it, I think this is better than the the, the pew pew unboxing. Um, but I'm gonna show you these fish. They're gorgeous, and just check them out. Um, and I I can't wait to watch these guys grow. All right. So see, these are some of the little beauties that Tiffany White has to offer. And these are the blue marble angels that she sent me. I'm I'm ecstatic. I bugged it. Actually. I've seen videos of hers with the father and that's what prompted me to want these guys so badly. The father is gorgeous, so and this is her little setup, her little her little vision of how she wants her breeding setup. She's got 420s going on, some of them with breeding cones, some of them with plants. I guess she's catering to what they want. Um, as you see those koi look like they're getting busy um, at the top right. So uh, I guess you can be um, looking out for those if you're interested she's on get gills by the way if you guys ever um get a chance to get look at these guys but anyway if you guys get a chance 
go check her out and get gills. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the description to her um, channel, her YouTube channel, and her get gills site in the description section below. So go check them out and uh, see see what see what she has to offer. I I'm very pleased with the way everything came out. I'm very pleased with the quality. Um, I got I gotta tell you, there's nothing like buying your fish and seeing where they came from. You know, um, look at these guys. Well, that's the daddy of the ones I have. Look at him. I can't wait till mine's come out looking like that. And apparently they got some sisters and brothers on their way. So, yeah. Tiffany White, get gills. Go check her out. <laughs> Later.